Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. It's been a while since I've played, uh, and apparently you shouldn't have come here, which is questionable. Uh, so we're still running around with our lighter. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. So let's go back, because I'm pretty sure we opened up a new area upstairs, because we, we only came all the way back here, if memory serves. Ah, uh, yes. If memory serves, so we could... Yeah, we need to go into the main hall, don't we, and then upstairs. Or what? No, we're going upstairs. I'm sure we were. I'm sure we were going upstairs. Uh, oh, hello. Right, we had the bolt, which was going to be used for a fuse somewhere. Yeah, I remember. Can we use, like, the acid on this or something? Doesn't fit. Okay. So, this is for maximum soda, I believe that says. Refreshing to the maximum. Uh-huh. Cool. Alright. Hook me up with a with a energy drink and, uh, and we'll talk. Ah, yes. Yeah, so we've got a couple of ankle biters here that we've dispatched. Yeah, that's right, because the corpses don't actually disappear, do they? They do not. Right, let's go upstairs. I'm also using an Xbox One controller here instead of a series controller because the D-pad is way quieter. So, hopefully that will do a better job. I'm trying to get myself a brand new Xbox One controller. Which isn't as easy as you'd think. Listen to that music. That music is fantastic, man. Right, let's go. Um. Right. Yeah, because I when I was uh, editing the video back, I noticed that we came into this room... But I didn't notice there was a little stairway up here. <clears throat> so, right, okay. Right, so we have an electronically locked door. If we only like ammo or anything. God, I just did forget how good this game looked. Uh, right. Okay, cool. If this doesn't work, I don't know, Chief. That's a big bolt right cool okay yeah because I can't remember why we were going to the west wing was it for like an operating theater or something uh, we get some more nails oh I was just about to say doesn't sound like there's any bad nicks in here but oh yeah we've got some shotgun shells Uh, we can combine there. Okay, I like that. Sounds like we've got a crazy fellow in a wheelchair somewhere. There he is. Hey, dude. Let's give him a couple of shots of this. Right, now he's down. Can we? Oh, that was a great camera angle. Lump him over the head with this. Okay, maybe not. We took a little bit of damage there, I think. No, we're still fine. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, knocking him down with this. And then I was thinking about this um, the other day. So we can knock them down and then finish them off with this. Uh, not 100% convinced that it's worth it. Let's grab the map. Okay, so... And the cat is coming across. One second, guys. Cat attack. Uh, right, so... It's not a bad way of actually fiddling through everything, I suppose. 
It works. Now, we've still got these key doors. Uh, I'm guessing that we need some kind of, um, you know, key to work through those. Not really sure. All right. Let's have a little look around. Not an awful lot here so far. Apart from the little crazy fellow in his wheelchair. Ooh, guts. Uh, I equals one. Oh, right. Yeah, it's another one of those weird crazy doors. Does that have anything to do with these? Guess not. See, it just says there's symbols here, but we can't interact with any of them. I'm guessing we need an item that allows us to interact with them. That is such a cool little scene there. Yeah, there's something wrong with... Um, what's her name again? Caroline? Caroline's character model. A foul smell and animates from this body. Yeah, probably. Right, so hopefully we can go down. Because we need... There was a... Um, right. There was a this. Doesn't really quite work though, does it? Do we need to get, do we need to make some space? Uh, maybe we can't get that in there. I, I'm really not sure about that. Really? Can we not? Like, why is this here? If we can't push it in. Or can we? Is that... Is that in? Doesn't look in. Uh, right, well, let's... Try going back upstairs, I guess. Seeing if we can operate it from upstairs. I'm gonna say no. Oh, I love this music. Ah, oh, first gulp of coffee of the day. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, oh, it's nectar. Have we been in this door? Yeah, that's the service area. Oh, I'm telling you, that first hit of coffee. My God, it just, it does things, you know? Things that you can't describe. So, let's go see if we can call that elevator up. I'm going to say that we probably can't, because... It's wedged. The elevator is not fucking responding, yeah. So... So, what's the point? What, hang on a minute. Was that... Now, I can't remember, um, thinking back. Was that elevator actually jammed up? That might have been the case. That elevator might actually have been jammed, which might explain why we had to move it. So that elevator just, you know, adds a, a quick way down into this swing, which is fine. But I don't know, man. I thought that we might actually have to use it for something, but I guess not. 
But it's not as useful as you'd think anyway, because that button doesn't work, so... You know. But, right, okay, whatever. It is what it is. We can go upstairs from here. So as long as we remember that we have to use this elevator, um, you know, we can't call it from the bottom. So we've got this one. Oh, right. We need an, oh, okay. Okay. That's the operating room that we needed to go into. So we're going to have to go down. Grab the bolt. Oh, I see. I see what that elevator's for. Another save tape. Sure. We'll have it. All right. So this is the save room. It's not plugged in. All of these computers, it's kind of strange because we can examine all of these computers, right? But... Ooh... First aid kit. Nice. I guess we can't look in there. Got some more shotgun shells. So we've got like six shotgun shells. Ooh. Who put these bodies here? I have no idea. We've got shotgun shells then. Six of them. But we don't have a shotgun. Right, that's a bit of an issue. So we're going to have to go and get the bolt, I guess. Kind of a pain in the ass, not going to lie, but okay. I suppose using the same key item to open certain doors... Uh, has been done in Resident Evil, I think. Although, this, to me, isn't very Resident Evil. This, to me, feels more like Silent Hill. With maybe just a hint. Just a hint of Alone in the Dark. Um, okay. Alright, so I guess we've got to take this bolt back out. Alright, I wasn't expecting to have to reuse anything, so that's curious. This, I kind of feel, is just padding. <laughs> this is just lots of padding. And I reckon our lighter is getting pretty hot. In fact, I suppose the only thing that's really Resident Evil about this so far is using the lighter. Uh, oh, we needed something for that door, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, that was another puzzle. Handle won't budge. Because it won't even let you interact with this. Yeah, definitely, definitely an item that we're missing. There has to be, right? <clears throat> I want to find this shotgun. Oh, you... Oh, you cunt. You... Absolute cunt. That's what that's for. That... Right. That there holds the elevator doors open oh gets yeah right bad game design that's just filler absolute filler that's really annoying it's already annoying that you have to kind of run around the houses a little bit but to actually have to like send you oh fuck's sake man that's awful. That is awful that they would do that to you. I'm hoping there isn't a lot more of that sort of stuff later on. Uh. Alright, yes, we know the bloody door opens. Oh my god. What a 
stupid, silly... Li I never even considered that the elevator doors would... Has he moved? He's moved. Strange. All right. Oh, I can't actually believe that. Talk about a test of patience. Because that's what that is. That is a complete test of patience. Oh, so I don't know whether this is kind of on a time limit or what, but uh, what a absolute dick penis move, man. Good thing, um, I can't remember her name. Is it Catherine? Catalina? Something like that. Uh, I think if we just examine anything. Oh, Caroline Walker. That was her name. <clears throat> Sorry, Caroline. It's a good thing she's got a lot of stamina, because... You know, running up and down these stairs. Probably get pretty tiresome after a while. Alright, let's go get our magical bolt. Like, is this the, seriously the only thing that we could find? Uh, I mean, to be fair, I guess it's a big bolt. This is where we go down and find that some utter penis has moved the bloody um I don't know what you call it, a trolley thing out of the way. Then we really would have to introduce some kind of large object to testicles. Preferably whatever monster's testicles moved it around. Preferably. Yeah. So that is literally what that is for. <clears throat> oh, awful. Awful, awful puzzle. Awful. Okay. Never mind. We have what we need. Mind. What did that do? Did that that opened something else up, didn't it? That do something in here. Don't think so. It's interesting that there's a lot of um, things to search. That don't... Ah, oh, look at that. There's a lot of things to search, but... A lot of it is nothing. Dr. Colin reported that no matter how many times he pressed the button to call the elevator, it didn't work. Yep, because it's um, broken. When I checked on it, I realized that somebody had left an object blocking the elevator doors. Stopping them from closing completely. So there's the... Okay. The buttons to call the elevator from the first floor aren't working. The elevator can only be called from the second floor. Right, so there's the information there about how to do the puzzle. I say puzzle. Very generously going to call that a puzzle. I like the way the fridge is called Cool Man as well. I approve. Okay, operating room. Uh, is this going to be grisly in here? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Ow. Right, we've got these little bloody ankle biting bastards. We're on danger. Eat a medikit. Right, have this, you bastard. Little ankle biting bitch. Honestly. Alright, <clears throat> so, fire interview news. Thank you for allowing us to interview you. Director uh, uh, Bertram Wildberger 
we're very aware that this is partic a particularly delicate time for you and the people of Winter Lake. Do you have any information about how the fire began? Experts are working hard to find the answer. Oh, excuse me. Unfortunately, we're still waiting to discover the cause. <clears throat> what will happen now that the hospital is completely lost? Completely lost? As a director of the hospital and somebody grateful for everything life has given me, I am currently working on uh, accommodating the hospital's needs uh, within my mansion. Right, okay, so that's why this is a little bit of a strange setup. There was a hospital, hospital burnt down, he decided to um, take his work home uh, in kind of a spectacular way. Uh, this, of course, will be temporary, at least until we manage to construct a new hospital building. I will also... I have also spoken to kind donators who will provide be providing equipment and furniture. How generous of you, Director. I am merely God's servant. I exist to do his will. Oh, go peddle thy shite elsewhere. I wonder what's in it for him. He's certainly not on the level. Oh. 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 Oh, that's that's a new type of fellow. Cool. I approve. Oh, look at that. Ow. This gentleman appears to be um, still attached to his piss bag. Ooh. Ooh. On caution again. Yeah, I'm not sure actually about how efficient that is. Using that. Yeah, that gentleman was still attached to his piss bag. Interesting. Curious. That was a pretty cool enemy. Probably the most interesting one so far. Right, dressing room. Oh, right. We cannot fight in there. Because, yeah, okay. Anastasia. Hmm, this is a problem. You would have thought somewhere there would be like a torch or something. Some more shotgun cartridges. Microscopes and various medical items. Yeah, there's a nice amount of stuff here. Oh. Thank you. We'll definitely take the morphine. Apps are freaking loot. Oh. See how easy it is to miss things? Like, ridiculously easy to miss things? Alright. So, uh, 17th of September, 1980. Uh, Maria is infected with a rare disease. My two girls are missing, and my father has died. Upon my return from the business trip, I found the mansion surrounded by police. The officer in charge, without qualm, destroyed my entire world with his cold words. Afterward, they attacked me with annoying questions and did not let me see Maria until they were finished. So, okay. I mean, I'm guessing, like, Caroline is one of the twins. That seems pretty bloody obvious. Um, okay, so Daddy went away, came back, and shit went south. She appears dead in life. Her skin, burnt by what seems to be radiation, uh, is falling apart. Uh, Fizz... Physiom on, on, uh, physiology? It's not physiology. Has changed quickly into something ominous. Her eyes do not show their pupils 
and only the sounds that come from her mouth are feral screams. Ooh. So, she was the first to turn into this. She was tied to a hospital bed, hand and foot. After attacking two of the nurses, one was left with severe injuries. She does not recognize anyone, not even me. The most potent sedatives were administered. Uh, we administered do nothing to calm her. I know not what they did to her, but I will not stop until I find a cure and those responsible for this evil act are punished. Right. So, she's mysteriously infected. Interesting. And I'm guessing everybody here is mysteriously infected with whatever the hell this is. This heebie-jeebie virus. Uh, so we can go into Anis, uh, maybe. Let's have a look. These rooms are very dark. Very dark. Uh, Trismi legends abound of the magical blood that courses through the veins of twins, allowing them to communicate with each other by thought alone. Some even claim that brothers and sisters could appear next to each other in seconds across incredible distances. What? It's not surprising that their first explorers to arrive on the island called such gifted younglings witch children. Unfortunately, they seldom survive 10 or 11 summers once chosen for sacrifice. However, the most striking tale is that of the night when no moon was in the sky. The nights when little twins would be sacrificed. The children would dance, torch in hand, around the tribe's deceased, while the remaining tribesmen extinguished their torches. With this ritual, the dead would walk the earth again, at least for one night. Okay. Oh, hello. This body is badly burned. Yeah, I can see that. Clip of nails. How big is this room? Not that big. See, I kind of want to go in here. But we haven't... Ah, we can go into the observation room first. So we've been in the dressing room. Yeah, the, well, the dressing room is where we have Mr... Um, Dick Penis Man. So before we check that out, there's one more room in this area that we can maybe get to. Not really sure what's going on with those. Like, I don't know if they're mechanical or what. A little bit weird. So that's the operating room, but I thought... Right, observation room is down here. Okay. So there's two ways into the operating room. Let's have a little look in the observation room. Oh. A pipe with an attached handle. It smells like sulfur. Okay. Oh. Oh, what the? Hey, Father the PD. Are you seeing this? A man in a radioactive suit is walking around a body in circles. Father PD, what's going on in here? Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? My child, 
This place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. Uh. I don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination, Father. Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. Okay. The shaman of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. Okay. That sounds terrifying. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon, the shaman of the tribe, danced to that sound. Okay. And we have a strange chap walking around in circles. I'm guessing that's a boss. Uh. Right, I guess there's nothing else in here. So, is this in our head? Or is Father PD just a little bit fucking weird? I mean, he's obviously a little bit weird. That goes without saying. Um, what? Oh, shotgun part B. So, it's a, a do-it-yourself jobby. Okay. Uh, sure. So, where's the other... Oh, fuck. The other part of the shotgun. <laughs> right. We're kind of out of time anyway, guys. So, uh, I'm going to go and save it. Definitely want to save it before taking that thing on anyway. Because I'm guessing that's a boss? Question mark? I don't know. We've got a lot of save discs anyway. Save reels. So, uh, yeah, save it there. So I guess when we come back, we're going to go shoot that thing in the face. Repeatedly with a nail gun. I guess. I don't know if that, that's not going to be a, it's not going to be a, player character is it or non-player character it's gonna be a big ugly bastard that's gonna try and stick that chandelier thing up our ass Ugh. anyway till next time guys